Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, JT Open Stuff. Today we are going to be opening the brand new classified series scrap iron. From the first day that I saw this break online, I knew that I had to get it. And as soon as my target had it locally, I ran out, picked it up, right around $50 for this. I think it was 45, then plus tax, so around 50 bucks, but a little expensive, but we're gonna see is this scrap iron worth the money. It certainly, certainly looks like it from the box, but that remains to be seen. When we get inside, what will we think of it? Scrap iron was one of my favorite Joes growing up, Cobra, however you wouldn't look at it. But either way, one of my favorites growing up. So we're gonna bust into this package. We're gonna see how scrap iron looks. We're gonna take a look at his, his um, anti-armor drone the quality of that, the build. And we're just gonna get into some of our opinions on the classified series. Some of the figures I've been opening up lately, I like the concept of the figures, but I think the build quality of some of the weapons is a little, I don't know, a little bit hit or miss. I don't really like the flimsiness of some of the guns and things like that, but all in all, I still think it's awesome to be able to open up G.I. Joe figures in 2023, so. I'm not going to complain too much. Let's get right into this and see what we think of this classified series scrap iron. So immediately you can see the boxes are here. Again, this is the foot locker. And this will be the box that contains scrap iron. And oh, there we are. It also has the anti-armor drone in it. So we're going to reach right over here. We're going to take out this foot locker as well. And there you see the Cobra emblem on that. Let's put this back over here. So I'm going to ask you guys, who was your favorite Cobra soldier when you were younger? I always just tended to like Cobra Commander for the longest time. Just thought it was like a cool figure. I like all the bats and all of those guys, but I guess I'm going to have to say Storm Shadow, and most of you probably will have somebody you've got a very fond attachment to as well. But leave that in the comments down below. And again, thanks for watching this video today. Hopefully you like these openings. On this channel, we're going to open up vintage to modern and everything in between. And by everything in between, we mean these brand new style figures as well. So again, you can see in the package, scrap iron and the anti-armor drone laced in there pretty nicely. We'll get on in the back. We're not gonna take a lot of time on twirling these today. Let's see if we can cut right through those. And I guess maybe not. So you know what? I guess we will untwirl them today. But this one looks like it's actually been tied in place first so somebody went a little above and beyond on this how do you guys like this new cording that holds the figures in personally i do like it better than the plastic that held them in the boxes in, in the past but sometimes they can be a little difficult to get in especially when somebody has decided to knot them all into the packaging. So I guess knotted in means not sliding around. So it's a mild complaint all in all, but let's get this, let's get this guy open. Let's try one more time. See if we can get this a cut. There we go. And one more here. This one here. All right, so everything is out of the box. Take that cording out. You can see that scrap iron artwork. I absolutely love the fact that they include artwork in these boxes. I stated this before in another video, but these could very easily just be a plain cardboard shell, kind of like the back, but look at that. 
I mean, that is a very, very nice little display. If you wanted to actually put that on a shelf and put your scrap iron in this to, for display, that would be a fantastic way of displaying it. But just love that artwork in there. We're gonna put that right over here for right now. Let's get all this cording off the table. Now let's take our first look at scrap iron. And whoa, look at that sculpt. That is such a nice sculpt. Look at that damage. Wow. That is a menacing figure. I love the face, the facial, I love the damage. Overall, you can see very good detail on his vest, grenades, his arm. I can tell you right off the bat, I absolutely love this figure. This is probably one of the, if not my very favorite classified series figures that I've seen. This is such a nice looking figure. But let's put him over on the side. Let's take a look now at the anti-armor drone. Here we have the tracks. You can see, there's this. The treads on the bottom. Now do these treads roll? It doesn't appear that they roll. But let's see, here's the top. The very top of that. Nice firm plastic here. It's been one of my larger complaints with the classified series in general is I really wish that the weapons that came with the figures had some stiff plastic kind of like this, but we're going to try to fit this on together now. Let's listen for a, not so much of a pop there. Oh wow, I just... Let's see. Doesn't look like a lot of articulation with this in general. Although I guess you can lower and raise this a, a slight bit. As you can see, turn it. But the tracks down here don't seem to have a lot of articulation, unless I just have not figured it out yet. But so far, so good with this figure. I really do think that this is a high quality build as well. Maybe the ability to roll would be awesome, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Let's get into the items that are in the Foot Locker now. And one of the things that I thought was awesome with this figure is in this bag right now, look at this. You get some awesome looking blast blowback that you can place around your armor drone. Look at that. That is super, super cool. We've got our missiles here. Laser guided. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can put that in there. There we go. Nice. Missile number two. That one seemed to go in a good bit easier. And there doesn't seem to be any sort of firing mechanism or anything. It's just kind of for show. None of the items on top of the drone move, but there you get the, the look of the drone with the laser. Laser guided missile, I should say, not laser. Let's see. What? 
maybe this fits in a little bit better or a different way. This one just seems to be a little tighter than this one. The missile goes in a little further. Not sure exactly why. Let's give it one more turn. There is a little bit of a bend to this one, as you can see there. And again, let's take that out real quick and look at this. I mean, why do we have to have that much bend in a missile? All right, there we go. Now it's in there a little bit further. I straightened the missile out a little bit and you can see they pretty much go in there the same depth. So put that back over here. You also have Scrap Iron's helmet, that nice Cobra insignia. Pistol. And his control for the drone. So we're gonna leave that right there for now. We're gonna get into this other bag real quick because I have a feeling that yes, wow. Look at these. You could use this for this figure, but imagine the use for these. I could imagine people buying more than one of these scrap irons just for these alone. Or there to be some additional, maybe some side pieces like this released by Hasbro. I mean, imagine being able to place these around a, a battle scene. You can see the bottom. They stand up really nicely. This one kind of looks like it goes here in the picture. Got another one here. And it's kind of the exhaust from the drone as it shoots. And then we also have these as well. Now, what do you think these are for? Well, let's take a look. If I'm not mistaken, these will attach to the missiles. To give the appearance that the missiles are being fired. So let's take a look. We'll turn this one sideways. And as you can see right here, there is a little knob on that missile that fits right into the end of that, creating a firing missile. That is pretty amazing. This goes back in, and look at that. That is pretty incredible. Let me move that over just so you can get an even better look, but that is amazing. I absolutely love it. I know with the HasLab um, copter that was just released, there are several of these as well. Dragonfly. Um, but look at how cool that is. That's pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and get the other missile out. We're going to go ahead and be firing on a Sky Striker with this guy. So again, these fit together. This goes into there. And look at that. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. We'll put it right back over here into a firing position. Now let's go ahead and get scrap iron. Zoom in there just a little bit more and give you guys some more detail. Look at that. Now let's go ahead and get that helmet on scrap iron. And that is the way that many of you probably remember scrap iron from the 80s. What a nice helmet. Everything about this figure I really do like. Get zoomed in a little bit further here, give you a, I mean, look at that. Look at the sculpt of this. Absolutely great sculpt on this figure.
All right, now, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and get his pistol in his hand. With a smaller weapon like this, it's not quite so bad with the bend of the weapon, but again, if you can see there, it does take a little bit of maneuvering to get fingers into the correct places, guns into the hand. But there we can see. And now let's see how, back out just a little bit here. We're gonna see how we can get this back into his hand over here. And now you can kind of see the, check that out. That is pretty, pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at the picture on the front one more time. Let's see how close we can get to this pose. Put it back over there. So this, this arm be extended all the way out. The gun's not quite in the position you'd want it to be, but all the way back out, kind of glancing to the left there. Up like this. Slightly forward. This leg back and bent. What do you think? Is that pretty close? Let's get him down there. Move that back a little bit. Let's get all the clutter out of the background here. And take a look at this figure. That is pretty, pretty cool. What do you guys think about this figure? I absolutely love it. I love these blasts. This drone is absolutely killer with the missiles that look like they're launching and Scrap Iron himself. Amazing sculpt. Not too many accessories. The accessories seem to fit in his hand fairly nicely. Wow, this is a great figure. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this over and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get him One by one, let's move this over. We'll get scrap iron on this turntable to get you a nice close look. Uh, let's turn it off first. To get him still, see if we can, I might have to straighten him up just a little bit, but. There we go. Now, let's see. Give you an up close view, no hands, of this beautiful scrap iron figure. Absolutely one of my favorite classified series ever. All right, let's get scrap iron over here. I'm gonna leave these blast pieces off 
and just kind of give you a nice crisp look. At this drone and look at that absolutely stellar vehicle i really really hope that they continue to make more and more vehicles for the classified series i seriously would probably pay a week's salary for a killer whale but man this is an amazing figure and i hope that you've liked this video and maybe based on this video you can go out and get your own scrap iron but this is, again, one of my favorites. I really appreciate you watching. If you like watching these kind of videos, please click and subscribe. Thumbs up the video. And I promise you're going to be seeing a lot more opening on this channel. Everywhere from vintage to modern, everything in between. G.I. Joe Classified, Motu, even Dorables and blind boxes, maybe even cards. Anything I can get my hands on, we're going to open it here because I just love opening toys and I love you being here with me. So let's get one more look at this scrap iron as we go out of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.